Well, hey there, friends. I'm the only Sir Cracker, and uh, it must be Thursday. It must be Thursday. I'm hearing all of the frickin' garbage trucks again. Well, this is what's going on on top of the deck here. Uh, everything looks the same as it did the other day. Except, ta da ta da, I have a fresh cup of coffee. Well, well, I just want to say good morning. And I want to say welcome to Graham's Garden. This is a place uh, where I am trying to think inside the box. <laughs> Hi friends, uh, I'm Graham, and this is my garden, and um, not a whole lot has, has really changed on the outside here. Uh, you've got my lilac bushes and all that good stuff, and hey look, there's uh, a few less plants over here. It's because I put them in buckets. So I have done a couple different things today. Um, Everything is looking really good. I'll get to that in a second. Everything is looking really good. Doing good. Growing good. The tomatoes look very good and healthy. I've noticed that the Rapunzel over here um, is very long and lanky. It's very strange. It has flowers and it's putting stuff on, but it's not very bushy. It's, it's very viney. Um, unlike the champion, which is very low and and uh, very strong and very bushy, and of course, you know the box car is doing good. And the ancho peppers look like they're doing okay. I haven't seen any blossom drop on them at all yet. But then again, I also haven't seen. Oh nope, there's one. There's one. Oh, I just noticed it. There's two. Oh, okay, so. There's one right there, and then right behind it, or there's one. So I am getting, I'm getting fruit. This is awesome. Good. I'm getting fruit. They haven't fallen off. Broccoli, or not broccoli, cabbage, excuse me. The cabbage is not looking very good. It's very, very sunburned looking. So hopefully the new growth will come up and it'll look a little bit better. And I have one of those little Rutgers tomatoes. I planted it in a five gallon bucket last, or no, was it last night? Yeah, I think it was last night. Uh, and next to it, I put another broccoli and then another Rutgers and then boom, boom, boom. You're like, what the heck is that crud? Well, I did not, okay, so inside both of these two funny looking buckets are pepper plants now these pepper plants I'm sure I'm gonna kill them I'm sure they're gonna die uh, but I'm trying something different I took those rings that I cut off of the the tops of the buckets from the the grow pot like water itself watering pots and I put them on top of here my thought process on this is to acclimate them to the outside so we'll find out here very soon the next day or so if they got acclimated um, gives them a little bit of shade when the Sun comes up is what I'm thinking and I'm not sure what kind of peppers they are they're just little pepper seedlings that I had grown in the house and, and I can look it up later um, but uh, then I have a Rutgers a Rutgers a Rutgers and then this pot right here is also going to have a Rutgers in it uh, when I get there. So that's what's happening there. Irises are all died back now. There aren't going to be any more iris flowers coming off of those. So I'm, I don't know if I'm going to move them or what. I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. And then look, look. You can now see the corn growing from a distance. The corn's growing. And my asparagus looks really sad. And you can see all of my leeks in front of the corn. They're all standing and perking up. They kind of look like blades of grass, but they're not. There's some, there is some blades of grass in there, but 
they're not and oh I put cages around the celebrity over there and I haven't tied them together yet I'm thinking about tying them together and then tying them to the fence uh, but it'll give it some structural support because it will get big it'll probably fill up this entire corner I'm sure and then the jalapeno next to it um, it's kind of like eh, I don't know if I want to grow no more actually it's doing great it's got jalapenos already on it so take a look back so this is back looking towards the gate oh um, so underneath the stairs here I just put these buckets here for the fun of it um, just to kind of these are all empty buckets towards me here I'm trying to figure out how to make this work I think I'm gonna have the buckets turn the corner here and then go towards the, the pink wall those what that will be out of the way come along the pink wall and then come probably back out again towards so it makes like a U shape so it goes around the, the post towards the wall across the wall back towards the post and then back out here again I think I'm gonna do something like that but I'm not a hundred percent and then put a chair or like a little bench or something up by the wall next to the wall so that's something I'm thinking about doing I'm not a hundred percent sure about that yet but we'll get there I still don't see any corn yet no corn yet that's not good and what's this rhubarb it's not looking the best I'm thinking about trimming it back and trying to get it to start again but then again this is getting to the slow down part of the year so I might just wait time time and oregano need to be harvested or trimmed I think I'm going to trim the time back that'll get it to uh, start regrowing especially the the one over here towards us the brighter pink one so all right y'all that's it y'all have yourselves a fantastic rest of the day and i'll see you later bye for now